and the final level of communication we're going to check with you is the level of advanced communication when you can basically communicate in your professional area or communicate in your everyday life but with an advanced vocabulary discussing advanced topics about self-development personal development maybe because basically Advanced vocabulary exists in academic or professional area in general. If you have enough level for discussing the topics before, in the tests before, okay, you have enough level of uh, language. You have to understand that, that basically we are all striving for a, a good intermediary level. And basically, majority of people, they speak those this, on this level. They don't need anything more. That's why when we speak of an advanced level of English, we need it for academic purposes, we need to study, or we need it for um, professional purposes. We need it for a business, we need it for uh, public speaking, or we need it for blogging. Look at it carefully. And there are even uh, higher levels of English, but this is about uh, passive level. I use the word passive when I mean not the way we express, but the way we understand, what we understand, how much we understand, it's about books, texts, videos, audios, podcasts, about stuff like that. So when it comes to the, I think, the most, the biggest, the coolest level of communication, this one I'm going to describe now, and I am describing now, it's more than enough, okay? So please answer my questions, look at how carefully you can do that, how well you can understand me. The first question. What's your company's policy? Or if you work at the company, or if you own the company, it doesn't matter. What's the company's policy? What would you do if you had to work in a toxic environment? Describe it, please. As detailed as possible. I hope you are still answering that. That's why I have these stops, so you can answer it. Okay. How would you behave if uh, some accident would happen at your work, for example? A fire alarm or stuff like Maybe it happened really. How did you behave then? Can you brief me on safety instructions at your job? Would you be able to be a head of human resources department with HR department? Do you have an experience with that? Would you like to do that job? Or maybe you are doing that job. Who knows? Okay, in case you have any company, do you have an international branch? Do you have international offices? Or if not, do you know about some local company with international presence? Some company with international level, an international level, so they went there and they succeeded. Can you bring me any examples? How much should you tip the waiter in the restaurant? Do you tip them at all? Because, you know, every person has a very different philosophy about it. And every person has their own unique explanations why they do tip or don't. That's very funny always to listen. Okay, can you describe the flavor of your last meal? The last food you tried? Can you describe me the flavor of it? What are the pros and cons of apps like Tinder? What's good about it? What's bad about it? What do you think is the successful contribution to marriage? What are the criteria of successful contribution to marriage? To a successful marriage, of course. Okay. Can you elaborate on uh, financial modules? What's the good financial module? Maybe not necessarily for a company, maybe uh, for personal uh, needs. What's the person's individual financial module maybe you have an experience with that do you think the financial literacy should be taught at school what books would you recommend for other people if you could meet any author who would it be any doesn't matter alive or not who would it be what's the longest book you've ever read or what's the longest tv show or movie you've ever watched if you are not on a book site okay and let's get one uh, or two questions more what are your job responsibilities what are your 
I know if you don't have a job, what's your wife or husband or boyfriend or girlfriend responsibilities? What's your daughter or what's your son responsibilities? What's your parent responsibilities? What's important is to describe those responsibilities to be able to um, elaborate on this topic. And the last question I'm going to ask you, what does a typical family look like in your culture? What does a typical family look like in your culture?